And I have my little twinkly lights back here because for whatever reason I'm in a Christmas mood. Yeah, I'm in a Christmas mood. I even um have on um the the Santa Claus because I'm in that much of a Christmas mood. It's actually kind of kind of sad when it's <clears throat> it's actually kind of sad when it's like 85 degrees outside. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I'm in a super Christmas mood. So there's that. Alright, so hello! Um, another update on the 50 books challenge. Um, I have read four, four books since the last video I made. So yay for me! <laughs> I'm doing alright. Um, I am at I think 18... crap. Um, yeah, so I'm at 18 books um, that I've read. So I have... I'm a little bit under the halfway point. Um, but hopefully I will be able to start knocking some more out and um, get back to the, you know, on track to do this. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Um, so what I read, uh, Through the Killing Glass, which is the second book to Alice in Deadland, um, and I don't know which one I liked more. They were both good. Um, this one had a lot less action and more plot and story, so I think I, I like that part better, but the other one was definitely action, 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 which I liked. Um, but this one I could read before bed and be able to fall asleep after. <laughs> um, so, Alice in Deadland. Um, Alice in Deadland was really good, but I think I probably prefer um, Through the Killing Glass, so there's that. Um, I also read um, Forbidden. I talked about Chosen um, in the last video, and I wasn't really sure about it, and they gave away the bad guy a little bit too early, or way too early, and there wasn't a whole lot going on, um, but I said I would read the second one. Well, Forbidden is the second one, and um, it her writing went up a lot in, in the second book. Um, she's only like a 21-year-old author, so, you know, that's cool. Um, but I, I liked it a lot more. It's still like a quick and easy read and, you know, not the best story, but it actually wasn't too bad. And the people who I thought were, you know, going to be the bad guys, you know, weren't the bad guys. People who I thought were going to be the good guys, you know, were good people, um, but not always. <laughs> so there were some, um, some good twists and turns and, and a lot more action in this one, which is really good. Um, I actually stayed up a couple nights to read more into this one. And, um, yeah, so Forbidden was a lot better than Chosen. So I'll probably read the third one just because I want to finish out the story, but it, it's still one I probably don't know if I recommend or not, but if you read the first one, definitely read the second one. So there's that. Um, I also read Don't Judge Me, Fifty Shades of Grey. It was absolutely horrible. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, like, this guy, no. I went into it kind of knowing I probably wasn't going to be a huge fan, because it, you know, it just didn't really sound like it had a whole lot of plot, and it was mainly just, you know, mommy porn, as it's been dubbed. Um, so, really, there's not a whole lot of good writing going on, and not a whole lot of storyline, and a whole lot of insta-love, and even worse, that this chick is, um... She doesn't think very highly of herself, I don't think. <laughs> um, and all the time, like, he's scolding her, like, it's, like, he's her father or something like that, and he, con you know, constantly throughout the book, it's like, he scolded me, he scolded me for that, he scolded me for that, and makes me eat, and you make, I'm just like, seriously? What the hell? And then, um, let me see. Do, 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 do. So pretty much he wants her to be his slave. Like, sex slave. Like, in the bondage way. You know, whatever. Not, you know, a huge thing, but... Yeah, apparently she turns out she's a virgin, which I didn't know. Um, so, yes. So what what does he do? Instead of, you know, leaving her alone and letting her go have her first time with someone who actually gives a shit about her, um, no, he he just takes that away. Yeah, that, that's gone, so no more virginity. Um, but if she doesn't agree to this contract, there's an actual contract, um, then uh, then they don't get to have any sort of relationship at all. 
Yeah, that's great. Oh, and he wants complete access to her from, what, like, Thursday to Sunday or something like that? I'm like, oh my god, every weekend you want this chick to be holed up in your apartment with the clothes that you paid for so that she can be your sex slave. Yes. Oh, women, we have a long way to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I pretty much absolutely despise that book. Um, definitely not one of my favorites, and um, I don't think I'd recommend it, you know? Yeah, it's just not good. Not good. I mean, if you have no self-worth whatsoever, then yeah, go ahead, read it, and love it. Please do. Go love it. Um, but, yeah, not, not good. Not good. Um, I also, last night I stayed up until like 4.30 in the morning finishing Starters. Um, I really liked it. It was actually really good, and there was um, a few decent twists and turns and a few things you didn't see coming. Um, especially at the end. There's a really good twist at the end, and um, it kind of makes you want to go back and read the whole book again in that perspective. Um, so that was really fun and interesting. Um, the cover is still absolutely gorgeous. And there is um, the second one coming out. I guess it's a two-parter series, so Starters and then Enders. Enders. Um, and uh, I think that one's going to be really good. It's coming out in 2013. I don't know when in that year, but somewhere in there. Um, so I'm pretty excited to read that one. Um, it was definitely a whole lot um, like Joss Whedon's Starter, or Joss Whedon's Dollhouse, um, like I kind of thought it was going to be from the synopsis. So that kind of made it better and worse for me. Worse just because I already kind of understood the world and all that kind of stuff because of Joss. Um, but also just kind of going through it in a different story, in a different kind of world, you know? Um, in like a more post-apocalyptic... Uh, a post-apocalyptic post world um, where Joss was set in like normal everyday world. Um, so that was kind of interesting to see that and yeah I did like the characters, I liked the writing, it was pretty fast paced and you can get through it pretty quick. And once you got to um, like two thirds of the way through I was not going to put that book down. <laughs> I wanted to finish it last night. I had a headache and I was tired but I had to finish it. So I did. Um, so that was actually really good. Um, Let's see, oh, yeah, and other people on their videos, like, say what they gave it, like, for a rating. Um, starters, I gave four out of five stars, just because I've already kind of been in that world and it kind of felt somewhat the same. Um, Through the Killing Glass, I did, hold on, it has to load, um, four out of five stars, also. Um, I think I gave, also Deadland, three or four, I think I gave it four, also. Um, Forbidden, I believe I gave it three. Yeah, Forbidden, I gave three out of five stars. Um, just, you know, the story still isn't horribly interesting to me. It's a little bit more, but not horribly, and not all the questions were answered. And then also based on the first book, too, I was just, you know, you had to wait for the second book to come out before you could really get into it. So, you know. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grave, I think I gave two or three. Yeah, I gave that one two. Um, it got a couple stars just because it's, you know bringing sex to women, which, you know, yes, women are allowed to have sex and enjoy it. Um, so I gave that one two out of five. Um, as for what I'm currently reading, um, I am um, like 70, 70 something percent through um, Ender's Game, and that one is turning out really good. Um, I'm having some really weird dreams with it though, like I'm in space and commanding armies and training for battle in uh, zero gravity, which is, you know, kind of fun in a dream. Um, <laughs> so Ender's Game is going really good. It's getting a lot more, um, a lot more in-depth, and I can see why there are so many sequels to it, just because it does seem like it's going to be a really big story, um, especially since he's only, what, 12 now? I think he's only 12. Oh, crap, he might be younger. No, wait, damn it. The, the book is spanning a lot of years, <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to remember where I am in it. Um, but I, I think he's 12 right now, and um, he's already, well, I won't give it away, but yeah, so that one is really good. Um, I think a friend of mine just picked that one up, so start reading it. It's super good. Um, I'm also reading A Witch in Love, which just came out on the 5th. 
it's the sequel in the trilogy to um, the Witch in Winter that I, <clears throat> the Witch in Winter that I read back in January, and I was waiting for this one to come out, and I pre-ordered it, and it just appeared on my Kindle one day, and I'm like, oh, yes! So I started reading it, and I think I'm like 30% through that one. Um, I'm also still slowly reading Breakfast with Buddha. Um, I'm reading that one slowly because I do most of my reading at night, so I usually do the Kindle instead of hardback book. Ugh. Hardback books. <laughs> um, and plus that one just has a lot of things I like to think about. So that's good. Um, so yes, I read um, Fifty Shades of Grey, Forbidden, Through the Killing Glass, and Starters. And I am reading Ender's Game, A Witch in Love, and A Breakfast with Buddha. And this why does it always beep every time I make a video? Every single time. Stupid phone. Um, <laughs> it cannot do anything all day, and then there it goes. Um, yeah, so that's what I read. Alright, so yes, yeah, so those are the books I read. I'm at about 18 books so far, and uh, I'm still chugging along. Hopefully I'll make it to 50. If not, then I haven't read this, this many books in a long time. Like, not since the Harry Potter books came out. Just because it got me in a reading mood, maybe I want to read. But, uh, yeah. So, doing pretty well. Okay.